for that travel headache for so many. American Airlines is warning that hundreds of flights are likely to be canceled in the coming weeks. This as other airlines make changes with little notice. Gio Benitez joins us now from Newark Airport with more on this. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Robin, good morning to you. Yeah, the truth is airlines did not expect air travel to return this quickly. Now their schedulers are scrambling and travelers all across the country are paying the price. This morning, a warning to anyone planning to fly, prepare for changes. I got an email that our two hour and 20 minute flight from Philly to Orlando got rerouted and is now flying to Boston and that, then down to Orlando. Megan Wolf is heading to Orlando for a mother daughter trip, one of the thousands whose itinerary was changed unexpectedly. We had planned a whole day um, in the afternoon because we were going to get there at 10 30 in the morning. So trying to add a stopover that's multiple hours away. Um, we wouldn't get there until the evening. It wastes the whole day. As the pandemic nears an end, some airlines are changing flight schedules the day of, but also sometimes days, weeks, and even months before departure to better optimize their schedules. And air travelers are taking their frustration to social media. People like Alexis writing, canceled my flight four times, had to unwillingly extend my stay, missed important events. So what can you do if an airline changes your flight? If the airline significantly changes or outright cancels your flight, you're eligible for a full cash refund. But whether you get a refund depends on each airline's rules. American says it will give a full refund if the change is more than four hours later than your original flight. JetBlue tells us if the change is two hours or more. On United, if the new flight options don't work out or it changes significantly. And on Delta, it says if they cannot find an alternate flight or if you choose to cancel the alternative itinerary, they'll give you an e-credit or you can request a refund. Scott Keyes from Scott's Cheap Flights says sometimes these changes can benefit you. Perhaps you've originally booked a connecting flight. You might be able to switch to a nonstop flight without having to pay anything extra to do so. And another tip from Scott there, try not to check any bags. Carry them on with you instead. That way, if there's any sudden change, you won't end up losing your luggage. But Robin, I got to tell you, expect these issues for much of the summer. But Gio, do we know which airlines have the least cancellations and which routes are, are more likely to be canceled? Yeah, so we looked at some of the government data on this, and as of April, Hawaiian Airlines, United, and Delta, they have the least cancellations. And as for those routes, when you think about these flights that are maybe once a day, those are least likely to get canceled. If you have flights that are eight times a day, those are more likely to get canceled, Robin. Good to keep in mind, Gio. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.